Hey, what is going on guys? RVZ Stealth here, and in today's video, I'm going to be updating my list on the best bot lane combos. I think I made one of these back in season five, and obviously there's been a lot of changes to bot lane since then, so I thought why not update this list right now? So I chose three 80 carries who I think are the best 80 carries in the game, and I paired them up with the support who they have the highest win rate with. So two of these combos have over a 55% win rate, and then the other one has a 52% win rate, so all of them are very strong combos, and I would definitely recommend playing them if you guys have not tried them out yet. The first combo is going to be Jin and Leona, so I really like this combo personally. I think it is definitely one of the best combos in the game because they just have so much lockdown. Once you do hit level 6 with this combo, make sure the, the Leona goes for an all-in with her ultimate or tries to EQ um, the enemy AD carry or support because you can just follow that up with so much damage and you can just follow it up with a lot of crowd control. If Leona lands her ultimate, she's going to be able to land her Q, Jin's going to be able to land land his W so that's the enemies are going to be CC'd for at least three or four seconds and that's just really easy for you to pick up kills in the landing phase as long as you can land those abilities. They do have pretty strong team fight as well because they do have really good crowd control and as long as you can go for an all-in at level six with this combo then you should definitely be able to do really well with it. And one con to the combo is that they are a little bit weaker if they do fall behind since they're an all-in comp. You want to be looking for engages whenever you can with this combo and you just want to get ahead with them so you can always be looking for Leona ultimates and if you fall behind you're not really going to be able to do that. My next combo is going to be Kog'Maw and Tarek, so the reason I think this combo is so strong is because Tarek is arguably the best support in the game right now, and Kog'Maw is arguably the best AD carry, so when you pair two champions up who are the best in their roles, you just get an absolute monster combo. This combo has a 57% win rate right now, and I think that if a champion has over a 55% win rate, it means they need to get, it means they need to be nerfed or something needs to be done to them and this combo since I do have a 57% win rate I think that you should take advantage of it while you can. Um, Turek is banned quite a bit of the time but Kog'Maw I rarely see him banned even though he does have the highest win rate for any AD carry so if this combo is available I would definitely recommend playing it. They are great at all stages of the game. Kog'Maw used to be weak in the early game, but his early game is actually pretty good now. His mid game is great once he does pick up Rageblade and Hurricane, and obviously his late game is also really strong. Tarek does have a great ultimate, and it, syner it synergizes really well with Kog'Maw. If Kog'Maw can stay alive in teamfights for, for a long duration, then he's going to be able to get a load of damage off with his W up, so with the Tarek ultimate, he's going to be in vulnerable for 2.5 seconds, I'm pretty sure it is, so that just allows Kog'Maw to get off so much damage in teamfights. Tarek also does provide some pretty good peel for the Kog'Maw with his E, and they are also great at zoning in the laning phase if you do get ahead with them. If you end up picking up, if you pick up a kill in the landing phase with this combo, then if the enemy AD carry does try to come in for CS and you know you can duel them, then just walk forward with the Tarek, land an E, Kog'Maw can follow that up with his E so they're slowed and you just have some really nice lockdown with this combo. And one con to the combo though is that they do not have gap closers, so you have to be careful in teamfights that you're not getting split up with this combo. Make sure you do stick together because Tarek needs to be able to provide that peel for the Kog'Maw with his stun, and if the Kog'Maw ends up splitting up and chasing a kill, or if the Tarek ends up chasing someone, then the Kog'Maw is going to be vulnerable, and if they have a Zed on their team or some assassin, then he could get bursted down pretty easily. And my final combo is going to be Ash and Janna, so the reason I chose this combo and the reason I think this combo may be the best out of all three of these is because Janna lacks engage. She's got really good disengage with her ultimate, but she doesn't have that strong engage ability in her kit, so what better AD carry to pair her up with than Ash? because Ash is arguably the best engage AD carry in the game, so this combo really has, it has it all, it's got engage, it's got disengage, 
Jason gauge, it's got good kite. So I would definitely recommend trying this combo out. If you're gonna try one of these combos, I would recommend this one for sure. It's got a 57% win rate right now. So that's pretty crazy. It's I think it might have a little bit of a higher win rate than the Tarek Kogma combo actually. So I would definitely recommend playing this one. They do have great kite in team fights. Uh, Ash does have her passive. She's also got her W and her ultimate, which she can use to kite. And then if that's not enough, Janice got her Q. She's got her W and her ultimate as well. So they have like six CC abilities combined, which is just a really crazy amount of crowd control. And they are also pretty good for the tank meta too, because they do have really good kite. And a lot of the tank champions are are immobile like they do have some some of them do have gap closers but once they use that gap closer they're not going to be able to do very much for example a maokai if he tries to engage on the ash janna can just knock him back with her ultimate and then after that the maokai is not going to be able to do anything and you can just kite him around after that so i do think they are pretty good for this meta right now and one con to this combo though is that both of them don't have gap closer. So same thing goes for this combo that went for the Tarek and Kogma combo. Make sure you do stick together in team fights because that is when you are going to be at your best. So that is going to be all for this video guys. If you did enjoy then don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you have not already, and let me know in the comment section below what combo you guys have been having the most success with or that you guys think is the most fun right now. So thanks for watching guys, have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.